Greg, I understand you have a question about non-destructive testing in motorsports, roll cages and the like. There are many places where that would be appropriate. Um, most of the time, though, we're not looking at high strength, low alloy materials in roll cages. We're looking at carbon steel in a lot of the motorsports. If you move into areas where you might have propensities or tendencies towards cracking and other types of things, then yes, we would use non-destructive testing. And there's a couple of new ultrasonic testing procedures that allow us to look at it in a three-dimensional version, which is called phased array. And phased array uses multiple transducers to go through and allow you to look at the integrity of the weld. Certainly, mag particle would be a good one for near surface and surface discontinuities. Remember that penetrant testing is restricted to surface discontinuities only. And Destructive testing is certainly out of the question because it's hard to use the roll cage after you destructively test it unless you're qualifying a cage using finite element analysis to see if it conforms to your design. So rather a long answer, yes, we do use non-destructive testing. Uh, the preference would be ideally suited to the type of weld, whether it would be a fillet weld or a groove weld, and then making a recommendation to you about how to do that. Any of the ones that you mentioned could be used in a variety of locations. Just remember, many of them are restricted to surface only, and you could see them with the naked eye or with a magnifying glass probably just as well. So best of luck to you, and hope you don't find any cracks in your welds.